Hello, welcome to biology, the standard study of life. Uh, other proteins that assist DNA replication. We have learned about the three kinds of proteins that function in DNA synthesis, DNA polymerase, uh, ligase, and primers. Other kinds of proteins also participate, including helix, uh, tubosomers, and single-strand binding proteins helix. Is an enzyme that untwists the double helix uh, at the replication folks, separating the two par um, parental strands and making them available as template strands. This untwisting causes tighter twisting and strain ahead of the replication uh, fork. And tubosomers helps uh, relieves or relieve this strain after helix separates the two parental strands. Molecules of single strand binding protein then bind to the unpaired DNA strands, stabilizing them until they serve as a template for the synthesis of new complementary strands. Uh, bacterial DNA replication proteins and their functions. Proteins, notice that this table or tablet protein uh, helix and function for leading and lagging strands unwinds uh, partial double helix at replication folks single strand protein single strand binding protein the function for leading and lagging strands is binds to and stabilizes single strands DNA until it can be used to uh, as a template uh, protein uh, topoisomers, uh, the function of leading and lagging strands is corrects or corrects overwinding ahead of replication folks by breaking, swiveling, and rejoining DNA strands. Function for uh, leading strands and function for lagging strands, primers, uh, primers. Some, uh, function for leading strands uh, synthesizes a single RNA primer at the five end of the leading strand. Uh, function for lagging strands synthesizes an RNA primer at the five end of each Okozaki fragment. DNA pole third. The function for leading strand is continuously synthesizes the leading strand adding on the uh, primer and function for uh, but the function of lagging strand is and uh, uh, as uh, elongates each okozaki fragment adding uh, on to its primer uh, dna pole one uh, <clears throat> The function for leading strand is removes uh, primer from is that removes primer from uh, the five end of leading strand and repl and replaces uh, it with DNA and adding uh, on the adjacent their uh, three end. Function for leading strand is that. Uh, removes the primer from the five end of each fragment and replaces uh, it, uh, it with DNA adding uh, to the three end of the adjacent fragment. DNA ligase, uh, the function for leading strand joins the three end of the DNA that replaces the primer to the rest of the leading strand and the function but the function for la lagging strand is uh, notice that joins the Okuzaki fragments. Uh, uh, a summary um, notice what well, notice the summary of a uh, bacterial DNA replication. The detailed diagram shows when replication but uh, but as indicated in the overview uh, diagram replication usually occurs um, simultaneously uh, at two forks uh, one at the either uh, end of replication bubble notice in the overview diagram that a leading strand uh, is initiated by an RNA primer red as is shown here uh, as is each Okuzaki fragment in a lagging strand viewing each daughter strand in its uh, entire entirety uh, or entirety uh, in the overview uh, overview also you can see that half of uh, it is made continuously as a leading strand while the other half on the other side of the origin is synthesized uh, in fragments as a lagging strand uh, notice, let's begin with a helix. 
anuins the parental double helix and then notice over a direction of replication uh, notice here molecules of single strand binding protein stabilize the uh, unworn template strands and third one dna pole third the leading strands is synthesizing continuously in the five to uh, five to three direction by dna pole third notice your leading strand notice that um, this one or this primers uh, begins synthesize of the rna primer for the fifth occlusative fragments and uh, this is step the dna pole third is completing synthesis of the fourth fragment when it reaches the rna primer on the third fragment it will um it will dissociate, dissociate uh, move the replication fork and added dna nucleotides to the third three end of the five fragment primer notice also uh, this one or this represents a dna pole one removes the primer from the five end of the second fragment replacing it with dna nucleotides that it adds one by one to the three end of the third fragment the replacement of the uh, last rna nucleotide with dna leaves the sugar phosphate backbone with the free th free three end and the last one or the seven dna like spawns the three end of uh, the second fragment to the five end of the first fragment okay thanks for